friends my name is rohit and uh, today i will be giving you the demonstration of a multimeter it's a sigma make multimeter uh, i'm having uh, the model number is sigma sg24 a uh, i guess uh, this will be give you a clear shot of it this is a sigma 24a true rms multimeter uh, so let's see what's in the boxes here with us uh, it's a carrying case pouch with us and it is having a multimeter a lead set a temperature lead set an instruction manual and the battery is provided in the box it means uh, the batteries is not inside the instrument uh, some of the manufacturer do uh, put in the batteries inside the multimeter and uh, some of the manufacturers provide it extra with the uh, inside the instrument and uh, user has to incorporate it so uh, I'll just put on the uh, batteries into it and uh, uh, give you a small uh, demonstration of each and every part of this uh, multimeter so I have incorporated the batteries into this uh, and this is a small handy sort of a multimeter but they have uh, given the um, specification of this is a small handy it's a true RMS uh, multimeter and it's a 6000 counts means it's a uh, more than a three and a half digit multimeter which is normal available in the market the yellow color ones and the different type of other models also available as compared to uh, the other small multimeters, let's say th uh, three and a half digit, it will give you a good accuracy. It's a small handy sort of a multimeter. I've seen another manufacturers like Fluke and Miko uh, are also having uh, this sort of a multimeter, the small digit, uh, small uh, size, uh, palm size, what you can say, uh, a multimeter. Uh, it is a handy one. Uh, an engineer can uh, easily put into it uh, his bags and uh, can go to a field work and uh, let's see uh, I have put in the batteries onto it and the lead set provided is pretty it's pretty good uh, as compared to the other lead set which I have seen with the other uh, brands multimeters uh, it's a solid uh, good quality one uh, lead set provided with it uh, let's see just open it and uh, we shall be doing all set of uh, testing on to this multimeter and uh, it's quite a hard part of inserting it okay now it's inserted uh, do remember friends uh, that you have to put the black part onto the com and another part uh, red part onto the voltage if you are measuring the voltages and the resistances uh, if you are measuring current more than uh, uh, it's in the ampere one then you have to go into that ampere one part the other lead uh, will be on the same so uh, as you can see that uh, uh, these are the two lead set they are also a covering also if you are using on the um, testing on the pcbs then you can use it like this if you are using uh, another than other than the pcbs testing or something uh, they have a, sl a slight uh, cover on to it you can remove the cover, uh, cover like that and then you can use it okay uh, so we'll be testing the voltage ac path voltage dc part uh, let me check uh, that in the manual uh, they what sort of a detail specification they have provided us uh, this is a manual which they have provided and the dc voltage is around 1000 volt dc and uh, the ac voltage is around 750 volt ac and uh, the current is uh, let's say it's 10 ampere ac and dc it's having both the current ranges 10 ampere ac and 10 ampere dc means it's a complete multimeter uh, the other small multimeters which comes into the markets are only having dc current ac current is not provided into that part and the resistance range is around 60 mega ohm and the capacitance range is around 10 millifarad which is a huge range for measuring capacitance uh, and the frequency range is around 10 megahertz that is also a huge thing and uh, the continuity and diet checking in the temperature and uh, the continuity buzzer sound is also provided so uh, let's see uh, as you can see there are two switches over there uh, one just one just say select so I put on to uh, the voltage part this uh, you can see it over here like that 
there's a small uh, yellow color written over there when we select it uh, this you can see this is a DC sign and when we press onto it it goes into the AC part means the range uh, the switch we have to uh, use is only the voltage then you have to select that we are using AC or we are using DC uh, this is a pointer which guide us that uh, which range we have selected and uh, now it's an AC and when we, when we press it again it goes to the DC part and there is another button which says hold if we see you can see H uh, over here yes uh, now you guys can see it uh, if I okay now you can see it it's it's written H uh, for hold and uh, when you have to write it uh, that reading or you have to uh, show it to your inspector or your heads then you can use this uh, button also this is also written the backlight is also provided we have to press this for around two seconds and the backlight will be there and the it's a white backlight uh, in the low light environment you can use uh, this backlight part also for testing all the uh, ranges so uh, let's see uh, we will be going into the first uh, the voltage DC part and another aspects of the multimeter also we uh, testing the DC voltage into it I am having two sort of batteries with me it's a 9 volt battery and it's a 1.5 volts battery uh, by which we will be uh, I will be showing you how to test voltage DC and uh, let's see when we connect uh, we have to firstly see that it's it's showing DC voltage only then we will be connected that this is a negative part I had already told you that uh, uh, com is a negative part and uh, we will be testing it like this and uh, let's see what is the result it's showing 1.8 1.587 so I, I had already told you it's a 1.5 volts battery it's a fresh battery that's why the result is uh, pretty good and this is an old battery of 9 volt DC uh, let's see what uh, result it is showing to us and it is showing 8.65 and you can see it's just showing in the negative part the reading is a negative means I have connected in the wrong way the connection uh, the uh, is wrong so we will be shifting like that and doing the connection again it is showing 8.64 in the positive part uh, if the results are in showing you uh, in voltage it's negative means you have connected the wrong uh, polarity of uh, these lead sets and by this we can see that the uh, voltage DC part is working and the accuracy part is also good because it's a 6,000 uh, 6, counts multimeter and it's an uh, true RMS multimeter. Uh, some of you guys, uh, some of my friends don't know what is true RMS multimeter and what is the difference between a mean value and a true RMS multimeter. Uh, for measuring AC voltages and AC current and mainly the distortion and the harmonics part uh, true RMS multimeter give you an accurate reading uh, and also we'll be testing the AC voltage I'm having an extension board over here and now I have already uh, connected onto the AC part it's a small stand uh, is also provided with the multimeter and let's see what the results they are showing see now uh, guys we have to uh, unclip these uh, covers and we will be testing the AC voltage part it is showing uh, 243.2 see it's a 6000 counts multimeter that's why it is showing the results 244.2 or 0.3 if it is a 3.5 multimeter this will be the result it will be showing 244 it is accurate and 6000 counts one it is showing a, a decimal and the value also with it so we can see uh, how much AC voltage it is coming and now we will be showing you how to use the resistance part and the current part and what sort of a protection we should be using uh, while uh, connecting to the current part and uh, what uh, what I'll be uh, giving you a brief overview how to test the resistance and the continuity diode checking onto this part. Uh, firstly, it's an auto range multimeter, though, so we don't have to select any range. It will go onto that range and 
गिव यूर डिजायर्ड वैल्यू ऑफ इट आई एम हैविंग टू और थ्री रेजिस्टेंसेज विद मी एंड देन वी विल बी आई विल बी शोइंग यू वॉट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दीज रेजिस्टेंसेज लेट सी आई एम कनेक्टिंग दीज रेजिस्टेंसेज एट इट इज शोइंग इट इज शोइंग वन किलो ओम इट इज ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड एट be testing some other resistances also let's see what is the result of this resistance it is already selected and it is 100 ohm see uh, it has already gone into the range of ohm firstly uh, the results were around 1 kilo ohm so it has already gone to the that range and now the results are 100 ohm and we have to the connection should be firm that then the results will be uh, good otherwise uh, the result will vary and vary and vary so now you can see that it is showing 99.7 means 100 ohm and uh, let's see i have some other resistances also like this uh, if we collected uh, it is around 1 mega ohm so the results are pretty fine pretty good it is testing and the testing uh, uh, sampling rate is around uh, let's say around 1 second or uh, in between 1 to 2 second so that is pretty much good as compared to this uh, small range multimeter it's uh, available in the market and uh, uh, now i uh, i will show you that uh, uh, in in this in this range only you can see there are other three parameters also which you can uh, test let me get a okay now you can see guys um, it's having diode range it is having capacitance this is a sign of capacitance and this is a buzzer sound so when we select it it is showing buzzer it is showing diode and showing voltage okay now it is showing nanofarad means it has gone to onto the capacitance range and back to the resistance range so we will be seeing that it is having the continuity sound is coming i guess you guys can hear it also i don't have any capacitors right now so i uh, won't be able to give you an idea of capacitance if these sort of a testing is happening and the it is showing a good results means the capacitance will you it it will also be measuring it now we'll be going to the frequency let's see uh, can it measure a line frequency onto it or not so uh, let me just first get a okay light that and now you can see it clearly that uh, will it be showing the all the frequency is coming 50 hertz it is showing the line frequency means uh, uh, our friends who are working in the fields uh, at different part or different substations or uh, different field area can uh, also be able to measure the frequency what sort of frequency they are getting over there and uh, what is the voltage they are getting i will be testing the current part of these uh, uh, this multimeter i'm having two batteries as as you know uh, we will be measuring the dc current of it uh, so i put on to the milliampere part and uh, you can see that it is also written milliampere over here uh, for ampere part we have to uh, connect this red probe Uh, over here and uh, the common part will be the same so uh, i am having this old battery let's see its, its result is more uh, than in milliampere or we have to shift it to the ampere part so firstly do remember firstly do check what sort of a uh, range it is selected it's into uh, ac or it is to uh, dc so now we'll be seeing that uh, what is the result of it so it is around 13 milliampere i already told you that uh, this is a old battery with me and uh, the result is not in the ampere part so it is showing 13 milliampere so let's see what sort of a result uh, this provide this battery give it to us and we now be connecting like that so it is just blinked on to it means the result is much more and the, we have to shift the range so i'll be shifting the range like that and we have to connect it the port over here so i have connected the lead set like that and now uh, we will be seeing that uh, i have put the range on to the ampere 
the red probe is connected over here and uh, we will see that uh, it is showing DC current so now we will be testing the DC current part it is around 2 ampere I had already told you that this is a fresh battery so the results are in 2 ampere and not into milliampere do remember uh, these sort of a settings which we will be doing while using these sort of a multimeter as uh, in the current part, uh, in the resistances part, we don't have to, uh, we have to put at the right, connect the lead side at the right part. And most of the people do also do uh, these type of things that uh, they put on to the resistance part and they check voltages, which damage the protection of the instrument, a multimeter and the PCBs and the other main ICs got burned up. So we have to remember this uh, thing that uh, do not connect wrong thing at the wrong uh, selection of the switch we have to check the probes first then we have to uh, set the selector switch and the range of the instrument so uh, that's it for today and also uh, it is having temperature range and you can uh, i can see that the temperature probe is also provided if you guys want to measure the temperature of any uh, PCB part or something you can use these uh, this probe and the result and the temperature range of this probe is around 1000 degrees Celsius um, and you can use it uh, so that's it for today uh, this is a short uh, demonstration of this multimeter Sigma make uh, it's a good multimeter nice handy handheld with a good set of a lead set provided with it and the accuracy is good and it's a true RMS multimeter if you want to or if you want to buy this you can buy it on us uh, online platforms also and uh, there uh, uh, you can call to their office and they will uh, provide you uh, the details how to buy this instrument uh, with from them so that's it for today if you have any question uh, do put on the comments part uh, and uh, do like and subscribe my channel i will be giving more uh, uh, demonstration of multimeters and other testing instruments for you. Thank you for the day.